Hey you guys, it's Jessica here. My username is Jessica Expanded and today is Sunday, November 17th, 2013. And I'm here to do an update. Um, I've been lagging on my videos and that mostly has to do because I haven't really been all that on track. But it also has to do with the fact that I've been really busy and I've been traveling and... Um, and I keep tr thinking about making a video and then I just don't. Um, I've also been working a lot, so I never look really all that cute. And then I say, oh, I'll wait to do a video when I look cuter. <laughs> and um, that doesn't happen very often. So I just wanted to come on here and update you guys. Um, I am, let's see, I was banded on August 9th, 2012. So August, September, September. So I'm about 15 months post-op. Um, and at a year post-op, I had lost about 32 pounds. Um, I went from 198 pounds down to about 168, 166. Um, and uh, I've been staying between 165 and 170 since then, since August. Um, I went to Peru in September and I got really, really sick. I had an unfill, not a complete unfill, but a significant unfill. Um, I got really sick and I started eating carbs again just because when I was down there, that was the only thing that I could eat without it being um, potentially dangerous for me to eat. Um, with all the parasites and the um, contamination and everything that's down there. So I started eating crackers, I started eating pasta and rice and a lot of things like that. Um, so I kind of got, I was used to not eating those things. And once you start again, um, carbs are very, very addicting. So um, it's been hard for me to get back on track. So anyway, I came home, I had a fill, so I'm back up to 6 cc's in my 10 cc lap band, um, and uh, it definitely helped. I'm not as hungry as often, and um, I do eat less, but I'm not exactly where I want to be. There are times where I can eat more than a cup of food, um, but I've been working on it. And I've been staying away from rice and bread for the most part. Um, sometimes I'll still eat a slice of toast or a half a bagel or something. And I can eat it if it's toasted. So um, I'm trying to wean myself off of that. Um, anyway, so when I got home from Peru, I was around 166, 167. Um, I shot up to 170. So, um, I did have a slight regain. That is what, um, I would consider to be a regain. Um, if I maintain or gain a pound or two in a month, um, I don't necessarily consider that a regain, but since the lowest I've seen is 164 and I shot back up to 170, I would consider that as a regain. Um, so that really scared me because that's the first time that has happened since I've been banded. Um, so that really scared me and I said, I gotta get back on track. I, you know, like I just gotta do it because I am not where I want to be. Um, anyway, so on Thursday, this past Thursday, I weighed myself and I was once, uh, 169.6, um, so that is kind of like my new starting point. I'm going from there and I'm just going to work on it. So um, what I've been doing and what I've um, kind of committed myself to do is start writing down everything again. Um, start writing down everything again. Uh, keeping track of how much water I'm drinking because I've noticed I've been drinking a little bit less than normal. Um, and I've never had that problem before, so I definitely want to keep track of the water. I'm taking my multivitamin again, eating fruits and vegetables, um, and, uh, 
and exercising a little bit more, um, more consistently rather because I exercise a lot, but, um, it's not always consistent. Um, and I also want to keep track of the exercise because I want to make sure that I'm getting enough calories and I'm, um, taking into account that how much work I do at my job and how much I do at the gym, um, that I'm getting enough calories and enough protein in. So, um, basically getting back to basics. And, um, so yeah, so since Thursday, I've been really good writing everything down. Um, and I feel a lot better already. And I feel, Ellie, stop. Look at this. Oh, oh, they stopped. She was mounting her. Not cute. (laughs) Um, anyway, So, um, so yeah, that's the plan. Um, and I've set some new goals for myself. Um, and I'm not necessarily a time-based goal kind of person, but I do like setting them. I don't get so upset if I don't meet them. Um, but it's fun to set them, especially when you're starting new and everything. Um, so my first short-term goal is to lose five pounds by Thanksgiving. So, um, and since I'm starting brand new and I was almost 170, I, I think that the first, these two weeks I can get five pounds off. Um, no problem. Uh, and then after that, my goal is, um, to average a pound a week. Doesn't mean that every week I need to lose a pound, but averaging a pound a week. Because if I do that, if I lose one pound a week, starting now, um, if I average losing one pound a week, I can make it to my goal, my ultimate goal by my 26th birthday slash two year post-op surge anniversary which is within the same week of each other. So um, that's my new goal. And um, I do think I can do it. If I don't make it by my birthday, I will be closer to my goal than where I was before. Um, And I might make it by next Christmas. So, you know, I'm not... This is definitely a lifetime thing. Um, and maintenance is really important to me as well. So, um, you know, I'm not going to set extreme goals to lose weight by a certain time, but, you know, just, um, just to kind of put a time frame on it, that's what I'm going to aim for. And I think it's realistic and I think I can do it. So, um, yeah, that's that. Um, I've also been thinking a lot about plastics. Um, and you know, I started at 198 at my very highest. Um, so that's, and I am going to aim to lose about 65 to 70 pounds. So I don't think that I will have any problems with my stomach, um, as far as extra skin. Um, since I, one, I'm losing really slowly and two, I wasn't, um, over, you know, over a hundred pounds overweight, um, to begin with. I don't think I'll have that problem, but I do, um, I've always wanted to have my, a breast augmentation slash lift. Um, I've never been happy with the way they look. Um, I got blessed with some saggy boobs. (laughs) So, um, I don't like them and I want to get them fixed. Um, and also I've been definitely contemplating getting, um, the Brazilian butt lift, which is fat transfer to the buttocks, uh, which is so funny to say, but, um, I've always thought about that as well because I have, I have hips, which I love, but my butt, no matter how many squats I do, it doesn't, it's not, you know, round and perky. So those are two things that I've definitely been thinking about. And I 
would like to start making consultations for that when I get down to like 135 um, around there. So, you know, it's always something to think about and use as motivation um, for me doing this because it's something I've always wanted to do. And yeah, so that's about it. Um, I know I say this every time, but I'd love to start making videos again <laughs> on a more regular basis. So, um, hopefully I do. Anyway, uh, I will talk to you all later. Bye.